Yeah. Praise God. Hallelujah. How is everybody today? Fantastic. We haven't made our confession today. Darren, we're not doing that confession. Put the confession up there. It's all. Okay. All right. Let's make this to go. Talk about God. I'm just and I'm glad to be here today. Let the joy of the Lord is my strength and my stronghold. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Let's sing together. I confess the Lord is my strength and my stronghold. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I confess that my mind and my spirit are open to the gospel, and they will find its place in me. I will lose the man of God to speak into my life. I confess that my life will never be the same because of what I hear today. That's my declaration in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, praise God. Did you want to borrow one of these today? That's a motor. See? 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 I won't be leaving that today. <laughs> Praise God. Mike, good to see you, brother. Won't be too long for we'll have a call with our hands up there. <laughs> today. Today. Yeah, he's going to be, and he knew I was going to be busy today until he took off now. Yeah. <laughs> no, he didn't. He did. He's my loving Bless the Lord. Uh, what I have to speak on today, uh, Pastor gave me a book. <laughs> Or did you give me a book? <laughs> and I see, I see why that one of the things that he he uh, hated losing most in that fire <laughs> was all of that word. All of man, that's years and years and years of wisdom, knowledge, teaching. But he saved one, and he happened to give it to me. And it beat me like a dead dog broke. <laughs> and he liked that too. <laughs> when I called him, he didn't have any sympathy for me. All he said was, I know it, man. I know it. I know it. But it, it had, a, I mean, a lot of information in it. And what I'm going to speak on today is spirits and us dealing with them. Amen. Casting them out because God gave us that ability. He said, Heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out spirits freely. We have received freely. Give. Amen. Ain't that what he said? Amen. That's what his word says. Amen. So I'm going to deal with that a little bit today. Now, <clears throat> if the word offends you, <coughs> This word that I'm gonna give, I am not targeting anybody in here. Absolutely. But now, <laughs> it's not my fault <laughs> that you heard it. At all. Right. The words that you hear, faith comes by hearing, right. by the word. Yes. Every word you hear, is responsible for it. You know what I mean? Yep. Now, you're, you're, I may not see what God is working in you, Come on. but when you hear it, he's starting a good work in you, a good work in you. Yeah. Now, you have the option of receiving it or you can say it, God. That's right, rejecting it. Thank you. Praise God. I didn't have to say it. So let's start out right here. How does the enemy operate? Just because you're a Christian and you've been baptized and you've been filled with the Spirit, don't think that you know all it is to know about the enemy because you don't. That's you right. Try. Amen. Come on. Good I mean. work. But, put up number one. This is this is who the enemy is and who we battle against. All y'all familiar with that scripture? Yeah, that's right. right. We battle not against yeah. flesh and blood, but against principalities, 
spirits of wickedness in high places. Yeah. That's where your battle always is. It's yeah. never, ever in the flesh. You cannot battle a spirit in the flesh. You have yeah. to battle a spirit in, in the spirit. spiritual realm. Come on, man. Thank you, Joe. You put really good. I like, I like this. Give me this mic. This part. <laughs> so that's where your battle starts. The next place. Why does the battle start? Well, the enemy comes to. I don't have to preach this thing this morning. <laughs> Y'all already know it. He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. He comes to steal the word from you. And the way he does that is he deals first. Yep. Right here. See, if he can get you to believe it, he can get that in here. Or what you hear, things you uh, go to and stuff like that. He can, can embed that in your mind. Then he can he can uh, destroy your goods. Right. Go to my next one. Do not be transformed by. Be not be conformed to this world, but they be transformed by renewing your mind. See if he. If God didn't uh, want us to start there, if it didn't start there, he would have never said that. Right. That's, right. Come That's on. where the battle starts, see. You know, because uh, why? Because as many thinks as a man thinks, so is he. Yeah. Randy. <laughs> Somebody didn't read. Yeah. I can tell that. This is where the battle starts. Give me the next one. The enemy is a liar. He's the father of lies. Yep. So, in order for us to get uh, uh, re released from his power, the way we do it is shut this thing up. Oh my! Because he he doesn't know. See, he can't he can't operate against you unless you. Come on. Speak it out. Come on. You know what I mean? You got to bind the spirit. You know what I mean? Before he even gets to the point, you got to bind him. How you feeling today? Oh, you know, I, I went through a rough night. I'm just not, I, I'm not all the way up to power. Yes, you are. You're up to power, you just don't know it. Come on. Come on. You know what I mean? Because that's where he operates. How can we use our authority unless first we take authority over the enemy, over his house, or his stronghold? Let's say like that, his stronghold. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Problem is, you ain't bad enough. <laughs> you're you're accepting the way things are because, I mean, after all, they said that, you know what I mean? They got stuff for coal. You don't have to really buy nothing. I mean, just go to the store. <laughs> they got uh, ibuprofen, they got Benadryl, they got. Castor oil. <laughs> you like that, bitch? You don't want to take that, do you? Well, I suggest that you buy the spirit. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> to the next one, fair, fair, brother. I'm going through this pretty quick because we're not going to be here all day. It's going to take all day to say nothing. <laughs> I was <remember. laughs> I just had to say. You don't have to be offended. Let me clean it up. You should have to be offended. Okay, clean it up. We are many members, but of different yeah. spirits, but we all have uh, the same code. Can you believe that, dude? One of the ways that the enemy enters is through, also, is through yes. our eyes. Absolutely. 
Now, the way he enters dry ice, this uh, seems to be common. And the reason it's common is because now so many things are available. Facebook, Twitter, you know, you got the TV, you got Spectrum, AT&T, you know what I mean? Whichever thing that you want, you know what I mean? He enters through that. The things that you see, you know what I mean, that you watch every day, it's not one person in here who don't get on that phone sometime a day. You get on Facebook and Twitter. and Some of those things are good because in this modern age, you know what I mean, they make things faster. You know, you can get, get more information quicker and quicker. But if you stay on it all the time and you're looking on it and uh, you're looking at the wrong thing. That's real right. Say it. Say it. I'm not talking about y'all because Christians. <laughs> <laughs> Let me clean it up again. No, I'm not talking about the people in here. Because nobody in here, you know, we've all sin has come short of the mark, but you know what I mean? We've all been forgiven of our sins, and so therefore, you know, we don't do those things no more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But it's worth it. You know, go through magazines. And the, the Bible talks about the lust of the eye. And, and see, when you looking at all these things, you commit spiritual adultery. Oh, my. Yeah. You know what adultery is? Jesus called the woman right in the act. You know, you commit to things that are not good, you know what I mean, before the Lord. You got to walk before him in a, in a manner which is pleasing in his sight at all times. Uh, you look at it, you got fornication, the lust of the eye. And see, these things affect you also physically. Mm -hmm. Because, see, when you sin against the body, you sin against the temple. Right. God put his spirit in you. So when you sin against the body, immorality sins, <laughs> you sin against the most high God. And it's a physical thing, see? You know, the thing takes effect on your health. But let's just say that, that you know, it, it affects you physically. Let's just say food. Everybody here likes to eat. Uh -oh. okay, don't want to. Let's not get on that subject. <laughs> Go to First Corinthians. Like y'all ain't told us what to do. Or do you not know that the Unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. Do not be deceived, neither fornicators or adulterers or adulterers or mm -hmm. <laughs> Now listen, I didn't say God didn't love him. Right. He does love them, but he does not like the sin. See, and it is a spirit. See, you got to deal with that in the spiritual realm because it is a spirit. Yes, it is. And the only way to get rid of that is dealing with it in the spirit. Now, it, it may be it may be embarrassing because nobody wants to put put their laundry out before everybody sees. That's right. Nobody wants to put their laundry out for everybody to see. Mm -hmm. You don't want to come up here and <clears throat> uh, and uh, uh, confess that you got, you got a problem. Nobody wants to do that. You know what I mean? Because everybody in here is looking. But don't think that you're the only one that's got the problem. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, we've all sinned and fallen short, short of glory of God. You know, 
Nothing that you can do that can separate you from his love. That's right. So if there's nothing that you can do to separate from his love, why not just let him handle it? Right. That's right. You know, just let it, give it over to him and, and let him handle it. And you conceal to his will. But look, when it comes to food, everybody likes to eat. Am I telling the truth? Mm -hmm. yeah. Everybody likes to eat. But this is the thing. When you're eating, if you overeat, oh my. then it's going to have an effect on your physical body. Now, nobody has to tell you what is having an effect on your physical body. Nobody has to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Absolutely. I mean, I'm, see, I'm, 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 I'm earning my dirty work. <laughs> and let me make it a little bit more clear to you. The way I know, <laughs> I, don't want, I, I don't need your input <laughs> to tell me that I'm a little chubby. <laughs> you don't need to tell me. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I mean, you can tell me in love. But I, you know, you don't have to tell me that. I know that. To him who knows to do right and don't do it, to him is kind of sin. Now look, when I get dressed in the morning, you going to If the top band of the underwear. Roll down <laughs> a couple of times. Uh, 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 no problem. No. <laughs> uh, no, I need to tell me that I need to back up uh, off the goodies. <laughs> See? You know, your body tell you that. You know, they, they, those things are obvious. Those are, they're obvious sins. You know what I mean? But in order to deal with that sin, what I have to do is go back to your parents. Now, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> See, that, that's not the answer. Now, you might think that's the answer See, because you don't want to deal with that spirit. But See, you don't have to deal with it because it's always going to be obvious that you. I didn't expect that. back on the calendar. Back on the calendar, yeah. You're going to have to deal with that. But see, if you don't deal with it honestly, you're always going to have a problem. This is just one problem. I mean, I was talking about something small, you know what I mean? Because uh, if you don't face the problem that you have in your life, mm -hmm. you will never advance or you'll never be able to get rid of the you know, when you, you're not going to progress. Amen. It's good work. Jesus came that you might have life and have it more abundant. Amen. Amen. You're never going to reach the goal. Come on. You know, though I want to do that and eat and all this, I'd rather press on to the mark of a high calling of God. Right. Now, these things are difficult because nobody wants to deal with it. When we get through with this teaching, Tom and Chris, and Judy and Jennifer, maybe Debbie Riley will be on her team. Peggy, we'll get through with this, and people, we stand up here and you're asking us questions or something like that. It is our responsibility. To be able to minister to you, that's what that's what that's what Tom is a pastor for. But he cannot overstep 
what you're not willing to give up. That's right. Amen. Right. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. See, you can pray all you want. Mm -hmm. Come on. You give it up. Pray until your knees is rusty. <laughs> Come on. From then and now. Mm -hmm. But it ain't going to do you no good. Yeah. You'll always have that spirit. And that spirit will always cause you problems. Yes. Mm -hmm. Things that you, you know what I mean? You, you're not going to advance in your finances. You're not going to advance in your family, uh -huh. your family's growth. Right. You're not going to see any kind of uh, blessings in your life. I mean, you'll get them by, by the things that you do. You go to work, yeah, you get paid. You pay your bills and stuff like that, and you can buy some things. <laughs> but you know what I mean? You've been, you've been <laughs> driving an old car <clears throat> for 15 or 20 years. And you can never see past that you can own a new one. Yeah. You know why? Well, because you, he's stuck. You know what I mean? You, you never dealt with You think, well, you know, I don't really need one. Well, maybe you don't, but you can get something better. Amen. You can work towards something better. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Amen. Something that you can be dependable on. You know, mm -hmm. it may have a lot of miles on it. I don't mean nothing to God. He's not interested in how many miles you have on you. Right. He already knows how many miles is on you. He already knows that the spirits that you have in you, that you have not come and confessed before him, are still there. And they've been there for a long time. So evidently, they're not, you're not going to be able to get rid of them. In a, in a minute. You know, they may keep coming back because that's what Satan is. He keeps coming back. You know, see if you still holding on to it. I <laughs> see. He don't really believe that. He, said, he still don't believe that, you know, he's healed. You know what I mean? And just the other day, I asked him how he was doing. He said, well, I'm feeling better today. God is the same Today, yeah. yesterday, yeah. forever, in the future, yeah. he changes not. Yeah. Right? And if he heals you, you're healed. Yeah. Say it. Amen. Amen. I'm healed. You know what I mean? Like Tom said, you got to speak to the mountain. Right? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You got to say it. You got to confess. Uh, if you have a lying spirit, say it. Say it. Yeah. Because as long as you hold on to it, you're always going to have it. It's always going to be a lying spirit, and it don't just come with one now. That's right. It comes with several spirits come That's with right. that lying spirit. Spirit of gossip, spirit of envy, mm -hmm. oh my. spirit of hate. You say, well, I don't really hate nobody. Yes, you do. You know why? Because no matter, as soon as the service is over, even as soon as this service is over, what I've talked, what I've spoken on, it's going to be critiqued. Oh, I know, you know, I don't, I don't really, I don't really think that's right. Because he don't want, he don't want to deal with it. I don't like what he said about that. I mean. I know, I, I know that I know that I need to stop eating ice cream. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> See, you got this spirit. You've been set free. You've been set free. See, you're not no longer held by the cords. A three cord is not easily broken. You're not held by the but you know, if you keep on holding on to the to the sin, it doesn't matter how much we teach or how much we minister to you. It's always going to be you're always going to be in a place where you are not having victory in your life. Yes, well, that's the main thing. That's the main thing. Yes. Uh, Tom and Chris and all of us are ministering on. They 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 are a little bit more advanced in it than I am. I try to use things that you remember. <laughs> now, it comes to it comes to uh, 
uh, good memory that you're not going to forget the things which I say about that elastic rolling down. You're not right. 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 <laughs> See, that's embedded in your head. Father, Father, Father I pray that this that you remember the man that will be erased from them. Not. See, but you're not gonna remember, you're not gonna forget that before I even start a ministry. I don't minister like Tom. Okay. I don't minister like right. Chris. They don't minister Come like on. me. Come on. Right, right. If they did, that sister wouldn't have had to bring the pacifier this morning <laughs> <laughs> to put you in the lens of the CSX in her mind. But all she remembered from that sermon is. is you know, we still on milk, see? Yeah. Let's go on. <laughs> go to John 1 9. Yes, sir. See that? Mm -hmm. If we confess our sin, He is quick to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us. Yes. Is that what it says up there? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, good work. I have to turn around and make sure because I, I don't want to misquote it. He's he is faithful and righteous to do what? Forgive. forgive. To do what? Forgive. forgive. Well, wait a minute now. You you can't be forgiven. I mean, last week he was just cussing somebody out. You mean he'll forgive you for that? Yeah. Oh, yes. Don't do that. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe I'll be doing something a little bit stronger. Last week, <laughs> you was watching something on TV. You ain't ever been watching <laughs> Like Baywatch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Baywatch! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get on that. I just watched it last week. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you. I found out I have on the bread. Yeah. <laughs> watch them, they watch them. Yes, yes, I watched some of it. I didn't watch all of it. <laughs> but I watched some of it. And I found out. I can't watch that. Because it's showing some things that brings other feelings up. Right. They're not gone. See, still have to deal with those. And do not sit there and act like you don't like the rock. <laughs> do not act like you do not like. <laughs> see, women, see, they play on. <laughs> you know you like the rock. Come on now, you know you like it. You know. <laughs> Let's get off that. Let's get off. Go to my last one so we can, so can get on that. These people ain't gonna let me preach. <laughs> oh, we have the power to defeat Satan. How? By the blood of Jesus and the word of our testimony. If you say it, don't be scared by the words of your mouth. You can speak life as well as you can speak death. Come on. Speak life. Amen. You know, yeah. speak to the mountain. You know what I mean? Speak positive things in yes. your life and let God take those things because he can take from sea and make them to turn to good. He takes all things, you know what I mean, that Satan means for evil, he turns them to good. Mm -hmm. You can defeat them by the word of your testimony. And if we still fail, if you still are struggling with it, you know what I mean, with the addiction, come on, what I mean, you've been smoking a little herb, You don't do no cocaine or nothing like that, but you take a lot of pills. Spirits. Yeah. I'm not saying that, you know, you may not 
need to take some medicine or something like that, but it cannot be a part of your ongoing yeah. life. Amen. Life. Mm -hmm. Because God has healed all of your diseases. He said he'd heal all of your diseases. <clears throat> but if you hold on to them, you know what I mean? You can hold on to them. Live a long time. Just keep taking the pill. Go ahead. Keep taking it. You know what? If that's where your faith is, don't die. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Don't die. Go ahead and take the pill. No, wow. because you're not there yet. Right. Amen. But you, you got to be pressing on toward that, see? You got to be pressing on to the mark of the higher calling. And this is what this is this is the thing that uh, I like about it. Pull this last one up for me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Everybody see that? Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. A man falls, a Christian falls, a brother and sister in Christ falls. You know what I mean? Seven times, and the Lord raises him right back up again. Yeah. You know why? Because the Lord is your helper, He is your strength, He is your stronghold, He's your redeemer. He has he has uh, uh, delivered us from all manner of sin, sickness, disease. He took it when he took the stripes on his back and hung on the cross and died. Amen. You know, every sin that you have to ever committed was forgiven. Yeah. yeah. You're no longer under those things, under the law. You've been delivered. You know what I mean? Act like it. Come on. That's all right. Yeah. That's, right. Yeah. That's a good word. Act like it. And preach. Now, I can see that a few people are getting a little weary. <laughs> so, cops, I think it's my last scripture. <laughs> and I'm going to let it go. And you're going to let me hold the bag. I'm telling y'all that this. Trust in the Lord. Yes, Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. And he will direct you.